Hi everyone, welcome to episode 3 of my tiny town challenge. We are back with Frank and I'm so excited. There are a few things that I want to share with you at the beginning of this episode and I would love your input. It's just some ideas that I have for Frank and so let me know in the comments what you think. But when it comes to building his house, I have an idea and... Let me just tell you that I do not like building in The Sims. I'm just going to actually have him do things while I talk. He's just going to go use the washroom. But I have an idea for his house. So I personally do not like building in The Sim. I just find whenever I start building a house from scratch, they always turn out the same, like suburban, because that's what I personally like. And so... Every sim here needs a house based on their style and I find that so difficult for me. I don't think I would be able to like do that well. And so my idea is to have... Where is he going? He's going to talk to the plant? Yeah, oh, your social is fine. And so I was saying that I found a farmhouse for him. That is his style. His style is farmhouse, vintage, and garden. And this farmhouse is so, so cute. It's tiny. It is two levels, but it's super narrow. So it won't take me that long to decorate. So what I did with that house is I placed it on an empty lot. And I removed everything on that lot. I placed the house unfurnished. I removed all the flooring. And I removed all the wallpaper. So that lot initially was about 50,000 simoleons and when I did all of that the price went down to 12,000 so what I was thinking in this episode is to have Frank grind and make that 12,000 to buy that house I know that's gonna take us a while but I am willing to do that I'll just cut out all like the boring stuff like this right now where he's just making flowers and doing his gardening so that is my plan let me know if you're okay with that it doesn't say in the rules that that's not allowed i mean it does say build seven houses but let's be real this is a game we can do whatever we want and plus i won't be cheating he's actually gonna work towards that house and i think that is doable um the only thing is after we get that house it's gonna be empty so we're also going to have to furnish it no thank you no i don't want to do that and so yeah we're just gonna have to decorate it after but i don't think that's gonna take me a while just because it is a small farmhouse and i love it i can't wait to show it to you guys it's perfect for him especially after i add all the flowers and the landscaping and stuff i just i cannot wait so that's my plan i hope that's okay i just know myself i, I won't be able to to make a cute house and it's just gonna bug me and so this way i don't know it makes me happy so we'll see how well we do this episode what, what is he doing oh he's gonna go view it why don't you make another one what time is it it's 10 14 his schedule is so weird like he he barely sleeps <laughs> so i wanted to tell you that at the beginning of this episode so if you're wondering why i'm not expanding this and adding things that is why I'm not going to do anything else to this. I mean, he has the things that he really, really needs, like sleeping, eating, you know, shower, toilet. And so I won't be expanding this. We're just going to accumulate the 12000 and get him that house. So I'm really hoping to do that either at the end of this episode or at the beginning of the next episode. So we'll see how this goes. There's another thing that I want to do, and that is to change, actually, uh spring so we are on day seven so we have like seven more days and i feel like that's not enough time because once summer hits a lot of these flowers are gonna go out of season and it's like frank starting from scratch almost and i don't want to do that especially with flowers like this where we are evolving them and they're getting to be better quality so i'm just gonna put it to i think 24 or 20 28 and hopefully that gives us more time. Another thing that I wanted to mention at the beginning is I really want all of these sims to have a pet. And I just honestly see them all having different kinds of pets. So for example, Frank, I see him having a dog. 
that comes to the garden with him and just sit around here and enjoy the outdoors while I also see him having a cat inside. Then for example Ziggy over here, I can see him having maybe two or three cats in the house while he is knitting and cross stitching. And for example Annie, she needs to take pictures and sell them so I just see her having a cute dog that she takes out on walks and takes pictures of the nature the dog oh he's focused nice and who's this opal i haven't thought about opal much but maybe a cat and then for example this is cypress yes it is so i see him having two big dogs that are in his yard spending time with him while he is woodworking and then azure i'm not sure i i don't actually see her with a dog or a cat and then Beatrice over here I see her honestly having a dog and also two cats because she wants a cottage and I just see cats in a cottage I don't know why but maybe why were you in here when you have a bed don't mind this there's a mod that I have to update and I'm too lazy to to update it so don't mind that but I'm gonna put that and see if we get stray dogs running around our lot okay so that is set two so perfect hopefully that works if that does not work we're just gonna go to brindleton bay and go to that lighthouse and, and i'm just gonna get a stray that way but hopefully this works and makes it easier on us let me see do we have anything in here we don't oh my goodness okay It is midnight, so he definitely needs to sleep. He's actually doing pretty good. His fun is going down. He does have his phone, so maybe he can play a game. Let's just play a game a few times for his fun to go up. And then in the morning, I do want to go over to some other worlds and pick up those flowers. I feel like the reason why I could not get those snapdragons in Willow Creek is because I needed to stay on, stay in that world for like three or four hours in game for those flowers to blossom. Because you know, when you go to that park in Oasis Springs and you want to get these, you kind of have to stay on the lot for a little bit for these dig spots to pop up. So I feel like that's the same thing with the flowers. Maybe I'm wrong, but I do want to test that out and see if I'm correct. But I do want him to go to bed because I need him to be up early in the morning. You don't need to pee. I'll just put you to bed. <laughs> oh, look at his PJs. What is today? Prank day. Oh, and the Munch family left. So we have like three weeks left of spring, which is perfect. I don't think it's going to take us that long to get his house and get on to the next sim, but we will see. Frank is up and he's ready to, I don't know, <laughs> take care of his needs first before we head out. Another thing that I wanted to do is actually get that barbecue out so that he can grill stuff and then put it in the fridge for leftovers so he doesn't have to eat granola and cereal and stuff. Why why is he walking like that? His his energy what happened? What happened to our daisies? Oh not just daisies but bluebells. Oh this is not good. I mean we have a lot like saved up but still let's harvest the roses and why is only one ready we can already fertilize them so that is great let's do that four of these roses are 116 so can you imagine if we had like 20 yeah that is good money so let's try the roses what is christmas rose i don't know what that is let's see a rose where are you there you go so we can do this one or do we go with this one there they are the same price let's go with pink because i love pink <laughs> yay good job frank it's ready look at him he's like yes i did it oh that looks great i love it so we have two in here we need to make more where are you going no don't go to the cooler please make one more and then you can go eat so make this one then, because that's what you've been making this whole time. There's a dog! Sorry guys if I was loud. There's a dog! Oh my gosh, there's a dog. What breed is this? Is this a mix? But the fact 
the fact that he's right by his house, it's like a sign, right? Or should I wait and see if we get different breeds? I mean, I don't, I don't really care. I just want like random dogs. I don't, I'm not looking for a breed or anything. Let me see, is it a girl or a boy? It's the same. What is, oh, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so silly. Like I read adult disabled. I'm like, how is this dog disabled? But it's the aging, I think, that's disabled. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so silly sometimes. Uh, Dingo is the breed. And it's a male dog. It's homeless. It is an adult. There's two dogs. <gasps> oh, that's a cute dog. I closed off my game because I had to go do something. And I just turned it back on. And I just got back into my game. And now there's four dogs here. So I was going to say that I want a smaller breed for Frank. Just because I feel like these are a bit big. But then this dog over here. I just envision him having a breed like this. And so I think we might go with this doggy over here. This is... Gemma, is that how you pronounce her name? Gemma. Look at them all laid down together. After we adopt, I'm gonna turn off that trait because I don't want a bunch of dogs. Oh, they're hungry. I don't have money. I feel so bad. They're so hungry. You know, Frank, you can do that later. Come say hi to Gemma. Oh, poor doggies. Let's sit. let's do. Why don't we do cautious just to be safe? <laughs> All the doggies are leaving, and I feel so bad, but I can't, I can't adopt all of them. Oh, look at the way she's looking at him. Oh, okay. Let's see, let's play with her, and I will sell something so I can buy her some food. I think I do need to go into cast to see her traits, unless I do get to know, maybe that'll work. She is independent body conscious oh and she is cowardly i'm gonna leave her like that i don't mind her being body conscious and cowardly <laughs> that's so funny but at least she's independent i will leave her name i don't want to change it we'll call her gemma is it gemma i think i think i'm saying that right let's add to family yay we adopted gemma lou i got her a little bowl for food and he's calling her to eat and also frank needs to eat he wanted to grill earlier but i canceled that interaction oh there's another doggy and i am um... oh look at her sleeping in here is that her yeah she's sleeping right here maybe hot dogs yeah let's do hot dogs and then i will put that in his she didn't go eat he acquired the cooking skill. Oh my gosh, he just he just cooked for the first time. Okay, grab a meal and go eat. And I'm going to put this in. Oh, you know what? I locked the door. That's why she couldn't go inside. Not because she was sleeping, because she could not go inside. Good job. Also, I did not get a bed for her. Honestly, she can just sleep on the floor or she can hop up on the bed. What is going on with my game? Oh gosh, what is that? Weird. Our flowers are not doing great. We have bugs. Which one has the bugs? Spray for the bugs and come back and do more of these. I think I have two in here so far. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Let me see. Oh, four. Okay. I'm going to have him make one more and we're going to start a sale. I'm so happy that he has a companion running around so that he's not all alone. I forgot that by getting a dog, we also have more responsibilities. Well, she's going to be filthy. But Frank is busy. <laughs> We'll just go to the uh, clinic. I'll just put in a bath job in the vet clinic and that's where I'll have him bathe her. But not right now. We are busy and Frank also needs a shower. This one is 2000 Is it? That would be amazing. I need to make a few of those and we are at like 12000 That's amazing. 
Oh, he bought one. I didn't even have to do the uh, sales pitch. We are at 3,000. Yeah, this is this is awesome. I was worried a little bit, but now that I see that those roses are like 2,000, over 2,000, I am so happy. He is, and she bought one too, so he's level 6 charisma. And I think we are all sold out. Yeah, we are done. Who's this coming? Sorry, girl. I need him to take care of his needs, and then I will take him to Willow Creek, and we're going to wait it out and see if I can get those snapdragons. But first, let's just take a shower. Now I'm here in Oasis Springs to see if there's anything here. I swear before I would start a new game, and like the second or third day, my sim could harvest snapdragons and all the other stuff that's in season. So I really don't know what's happening. Do they change that stuff? Like, when is it supposed to, like, be fully grown? I wish I could buy these, but he needs to be level si 7. So I think soon he's gonna uh, get to level 7. I think he might be 5 or 6. So he's very close, but let me buy him the seasonal spring and see if we get roses again. I feel that it's always roses when we buy these, but I could be wrong. So let me just see what he gets. Yeah, it's roses. I know it's like 2.15 a.m., but I need him to work. <laughs> I should definitely buy more of the seasonal packets then. It's $100, but then when we use the roses for this, we get 2000 so it's definitely worth it. So I might buy, I don't know, a bunch. No, do we need to take her to the vet? Yikes, Gemma has been bitten by a squirrel. Squirrel bites may cause illness, so keep an eye on your furry friend. Okay, tomorrow when I go to give her a bath, I'm going to get a wellness treat and give it to her. Oh my gosh, it's 5 a.m. and he's going to bed now. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Okay, Gemma, eat, and you go to bed. Aw, look at them. Asleep. I love this. I'm so happy for Frank that he's got a buddy. Our flowers are not doing good. I need him to go back to making more, but let me buy him a few seeds. I got Frank three more so he can make more roses. Oh, we got a different flower. We got a tulip. Yes. Okay. What else do we get? So so it is random. Look at that. Crocus. Winter and spring. But look at that. 29 for rose and 14 for tulip. And crocus is 9. We will plant these, but I will first make an arrangement with the roses. I really need to take her to a vet. She just got bit the second time. And... Yeah, she died. Oh, no. Gemma, you're gonna cost me so much money. I have one in here and one on this table, so I'm gonna drag it on here and start a sale. And then we will go to the vet. We do have some people coming over. Whenever I start a yard sale, this girl calls. You won't believe it. Brendan Hale is such a sweetheart. I am in love. You said that the last time. <laughs> I like this girl because she... Is she pregnant? Oh, she is. She's pregnant too? Wow. She... What? So many pregnant ladies in one area. Who's this again? Bernice, you're pregnant too? Wow. Please buy this last one. Yay. Wow, that was 3,000? We are at 8,000, well, almost 9,000, and yeah, we are definitely getting that house in this episode. I'm so happy. I'm going to close this. I'm going to end this early, and I'm taking Gemma to the vet, but first I have to add that bathtub to the vet clinic. I forgot how plain this vet clinic is. The one that I have in my Barbie Legacy Challenge, it's made by Plum Bob Kingdom and it's perfection. I'm going to take Taffy, Barbie's dog, there in the next episode and it's so good. It is beautifully done and this is just so basic, but it'll do. Hopefully this doesn't cost us a lot. I will buy 
one wellness treat just to have it on hand for Gemma whenever she gets sick the next time. Oh my gosh, she's so filthy. So I got this bathtub in the bathroom and that's where I will bathe Gemma. I keep forgetting her name. I did not want to buy a bathtub yet because we don't have the space. Oh, there we go. Let's hope this is not expensive. <laughs> Her skills are mischief, skiing, and snowboarding. I didn't know that was a thing. She's not better. You're telling me I have to pay $750? let us do the expensive. Might as well. And is she fine? Yep, of course. The expensive one worked. Let's give her a bath before we go home. He can't go into the bathroom because it's too small of a space. So I just put it in here for them. We are home and I'm putting away all the bushes in the household inventory for now. Where did we get this from? This is 175 I did not buy this. I do not remember and honestly we don't have room for it. But I do like it for his house when he gets bigger. So I'm going to keep it. I think I sold all the bushes. So we should be fine with Gemma. Yeah, I think we are fine. They are home, but they need to go to bed. I need you to call her to eat. And Frank needs to use the toilet and go to bed. Tomorrow is a big day. Tomorrow I want him to focus on making flowers or um, flower arranging thingies. Ooh, there's stuff to evolve. And I think we are going to get to 12,000 at the end of tomorrow, I hope. Unless Gemma over here has different plans for us. But I think she should be okay now that those bushes are gone. I got her a different bowl. Because she couldn't eat out of that one. I don't know. It was full, but she would never like start eating. And it was always full. So I just gave her this one, hoping that it's better. How about our flowers? Are we getting any? They're Oh, yes! Yay! I'm so happy. We've got roses growing. This is perfect. Okay, Frank, time to wake up. Please fill the bowl and grab something to eat so we can go back and harvest everything. What's wrong with you, girl? She is eating finally. Good job, Gemma. Okay, we have how many um, roses? We have 12, which is will be enough, I think. My game is acting up. I do not know what's going on. So weird. He was just shaking. Like, as if he was stuck. Yay, we've got poop to fertilize our flowers with. He wants to paint, which is weird. You've never painted a day in your life. <laughs> Gemma, on, oh, please. No, 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 no. Let me see, let me see. Destroy. There we go. No more puddles. This girl again. I'm feeling kind of lucky. No. No. <laughs> Not interested. Aw, she got her ball. Is she bringing it to Frank? Aw. Gemma, just give me a second, okay? Okay, Frank, I'm gonna let you use the bathroom, and then I need you to start a sale. I have three in here, so let's uh, stock the table. Here comes Gemma to help. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. So sweet. Okay, let's give sales pitch. Juniper is pregnant too? Why is everyone pregnant in this town? We are at 11 already. And another one. Wow, we have enough money to buy that house. This is perfect. We have 17,000. I'm going to now switch things around so I can place the house here. I'm actually going to fix up the vents 
and remove this also add the fence and add the house so we have enough money the house is actually 10,000 so we have 16 so we are good there but I did encounter a problem which I don't know why I thought this was gonna work so I was gonna just place that house right here on this part of the lot and I thought that was gonna be okay which why did I think that was gonna be okay because it's like placing a lot on top of a lot I knew that doesn't work but for some reason I was like it's gonna be okay and so I couldn't do it when I placed the house the whole thing disappeared so I was like okay obviously that doesn't work but I'm like it's definitely gonna work if I make this a rental residential and so that's what I did I placed all of these here in each of the squares and I was like that's gonna work I'm gonna make Frank the property owner which I did and I was like this is gonna work I was so sure and I placed the house down and again it removed this whole lot I even fenced this off over here to make it seem like this is one house and the rest are like different houses anyway obviously didn't work so what I'm gonna have to do is pretty much build that house which I will have to do off camera obviously so I'm actually filming this part of the video a few days later and that's because I worked on his house off camera I was able to build his house I think he had around 17 or 18 thousand and so I built the house for I think either 9 or 10 thousand he did have a little bit of money left over and with that money I was able to furnish his house but I did not have enough to fully furnish everything and so I did play a little bit off camera. I think it was either two or three in-game days that I played. It was boring. He just, you know, slept. He did his gardening, arranging, and then he was selling his stuff. And he was actually making pretty good money. And he was selling within like seconds of me starting the sale. I think like 10 or 15 seconds. It was insane. And so I was able to fully furnish his house, also the outside of the house. So everything is Done. and I cannot wait to show you the house tour but I do want to mention one thing that happened while I was playing off camera our Frank over here developed a crush so he was doing his sale and so he became a little bit flirty and I was like what is going on Frank so I checked and it says Frank has a crush nearby and I was like let me guess it's definitely Juniper so I went to her sentiments and yep it says Frank has a little crush on Juniper and so that got me thinking that maybe I should have somebody for Frank not necessarily Juniper because she's married she just had a baby and she's also much younger than Frank actually after the sale ended Frank went to his house and Juniper followed him and she was in active labor in his house she was breathing heavy she was holding on to her belly and I thought to myself can you imagine if random sims could give birth anywhere if that was the case she would have definitely given birth on his kitchen floor and so I was like I'm not doing that to Juniper you know she's about to give birth and she's so much younger so what I did I went to the gallery and I found a cute grandma I put her in the world I actually put her in a tiny cottage in Hanford on Bagley and so I kind of want them to meet if they hit it off and everything goes well I might even have her move in with Frank because she also loves gardening she's level 10 gardening she's level 10 cooking and I honestly think Frank needs somebody so that he's not all alone and also that cat that I mentioned at the beginning of this episode I also want him to have a cat and so let's just go and see the house I'll give you a house tour I'll show you around I'm so excited I also want you to let me know what you think of the house does it match his style his style is farmhouse vintage and garden so when I was decorating I was using those little tabs on the side to check off farmhouse vintage and garden to make sure that the items were appropriate for his style but then again I did use some CC that maybe is not farmhouse but regardless I think it fits and it looks fine so just let me know what you think down in the comments but let's get on with the house tour so this is the house I am obsessed I cannot tell you how much I love this house and his whole area is just so so nice so as you can see the house is not green I do have those windows that are green but on the inside of the house everything else is green so I find there's a lot of greenery around Frank and so I just did not want to make the house green I feel like that would be a bit too much and so I went with this nice color I think that's like a 
off-white, I think, and I'm just obsessed. I cannot wait to also show you the inside. I did change the layout a little bit, so if you watch her video, you'll see that a few things are different. She had two bathrooms in the house, but Frank only has one, and it's upstairs. And then also somehow I managed to make the upstairs a little bit bigger than hers. I don't know what I did wrong, but honestly, I'm not complaining. I'm just so, so in love. So let's just go around and show you so this is the entrance of the house he does have his selling table over here i did leave these two things just because i thought they fit his theme and he also has this little truck over here which he does deliveries with so he delivers flowers there's a lot of flowers in here and i got this off of the gallery actually and I'm so in love. There's a little tree over here. And then the porch. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love with the porch. But I'm going to show you the porch in a second. I do want to go over the backyard first. So there's a little wagon. Let me just go down a bit. So there's a little wagon here. There's a little barbecue area. A little picnic table that he can sit at and eat. Then there is his table. There's also like a hose here. Some gardening or yard tools that he needs also a little garbage there's a nice big tree in the back with a little birdhouse then this thing over here i also got off of the gallery and it came like this i did not have to put it together i just you know placed it on his lot but i really like it it's like a little table where he does his flower stuff his gardening and i'm just so obsessed these lights over here i don't think that they match the farmhouse theme but I just like the way they look and so I kept them there's a little barrel in the back over here so he's actually right now doing some work in his garden I do have these two extra ones for more flowers when he gets more and then the truck over here I'm just so obsessed I cannot wait to show you the house so as you can see here on the side all the windows have that green shade to them and i really like it it kind of goes together with the white and the dark brown and so this is what his backyard looks like let me just go down a bit but i'm just so in love with everything it just looks so cute i love it i love it so much so that is the backyard and his little garden. I do want to expand it, but for right now, that's all he has. And so now let's go into the house. So this is his porch area. I found this. I don't know what is this, hanging vines, or I don't know what it's called in the game. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but this is CC, and I just have it like kind of hanging over the door, which adds so much greenery, and I love it. Then on this side over here, he's got some seeds, also potted plants, and the crocus. He definitely needs to work on the crocus because it's got a lot of weeds. And then he's also got a little broom to clean his porch. Then this is a little seating area where he can sit and read or have his morning coffee. It's a little log. It's so cute with some more flowers. And then on this side over here, he's got his little box that I will not be removing. I love it here. It fits perfectly. And so he's got his little gnome over here. I think this is a sunflower gnome. He looks so cute. I also added more potted plants. I really like the color scheme and how they're small and there's some big ones, medium ones. And so it kind of just fills up this space really nicely. But now let's go on to the house or the inside of the house i don't know if you can see that green wallpaper but it is adorable so i find it a little bit more feminine but honestly it fits his theme perfectly it's got a nice green color and also flowers which he loves a little wreath on the door and so this is his living room over here he's got a little fireplace no TV, just because I don't see him watching TV. He's very outdoorsy and he spends a lot of his time in, in the garden and so I did not get him a TV. But he does have this little seating area over here, little pillows that he can sit on. And this is his living room. It is super cozy and cute. He's got a little couch and a little side table. There's Gemma. And then here on the side by the door, he's got his gardening boots. And this is his dining room. It's very tiny, but it's perfect for him. There's some food for Gemma over here. And 
then we go into the kitchen the kitchen is pretty plain I did not want to clutter it up I mean I could have but I just honestly left it the way it is he's got his little fridge there is a painting over here I got this set off of the gallery under the rooms section and so it came with I think four or five of these paintings I did use the three that you saw above the fireplace but this is the fourth one and so this is his kitchen he's got some bread on there he's got paper towels something to make tea and coffee with his stove he's got some wine over here and also he bought some groceries so that's the kitchen honestly he's got this little mat over here but it's really tiny and it's perfect for him honestly so this is the living room from this side I just love everything so so much and this is the dining room so now we're gonna go upstairs and show you his bedroom I think this is called a family portrait and it is a mod and it adds your family on there so whoever you have in your household it'll put you all in there and you can even change the background maybe I should have looked if there was a better one but honestly this fits so let's go on upstairs and when you come in you see this thing for the cat which she doesn't have a cat yet I do want to get a cat right now at the end of this episode but that's for his little future cat he's got some paintings over here they're really cute a lot of flowers he's got his little cowboy hat I think that's a cowboy hat and then this is his bedroom it is really big lots of space his bedside tables are there he's got a little mirror he also has an easel because he's been wanting to paint for the longest time and so I got him a little easel that he can use. He's also got a little office desk. I can just imagine him here sitting, taking his flower orders and delivering them with his truck. And so I gave him a little laptop with some books and plants and a little notebook to keep track of his um, deliveries and his orders. And so... This area over here is his little reading nook. I love this bookshelf. It is so nice. And that little chair is just so perfect. Here is his wardrobe with a lot of his shirts up top. And so that's the bedroom. This is Gemma's bed. So that's where Gemma sleeps. And then the bathroom. Now the bathroom is really, really weird. Just the whole like layout of it. And you'll see now. Um, I do not want to change it or ma make it wider or bigger. Honestly, I just left it like that and I worked on the bathroom last. And so you'll see that I just put like the things that he really needs in there and I left the bathroom the way it is. So let's go on in the bathroom. But it's really hard to see everything from this angle because this is his washroom or this is his bathtub. It's got what are these daisies I think and... And then some leaves but then over here is his sink again look how tiny that is it's like a little hallway but honestly it's fine I'm not gonna worry about it so he's got his little sink some towels and then when you turn around the toilet is kind of at the end of the other hallway I don't know it's so weird but that's his little bathroom super tiny but it's fine for him this is his house honestly I love it so much so that's his living room and these are the paintings that I was talking about. I got them off of the gallery. And so his little kitchen in here. This is his dining room. I just love it so much. And then this is his bedroom. It is really spacious. So that is his bedroom. I could have added more plants or hanging plants here but... I might add that at some other point. Right now he's down to 129 so he definitely doesn't have enough for all of that. But that's his house. And now let's just play a little bit. He definitely needs to work a little bit more, make a little bit more money so that we can work on the community house that will go here. Uh, another thing that I did, I kind of fenced off everything. And I had Frank obviously do that and he spent a lot of money, like I think 5000 for all of this fencing in the back, like for everything to connect kind of and to separate each, you know, like square. And so I also did that. So there's a lot of stuff that I still want him to do and I'm hoping that I get to everything 
in this episode. So if this video is a little bit long, I apologize. And he's got a little mustache that he kind of grew overnight. <laughs> and so I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to have him shave because I think it fits him. What does it look like? Oh, it looks weird. Wait, look at him. <laughs> he's got a little mustache. Honestly, I don't like the way that looks, how it goes down. We're going to have to shave that off. Oh, I love this little house. It's so cute. I just want to live here. I want to leave the city and I want to come and live with Frank and help him in his little garden. And there we go. No more facial hair. Good job, Frank. What does he want to do? He wants to grill. You are hungry. Um, I just tried having him cook something and this is actually debug. So I'm just going to destroy it. But I actually had him cook something and he couldn't. But I think repairing it worked. And look, he can cook now. So yeah, something was going on. Honestly, I think it might be the thing for rent. Because I know that Delicracy said she also had issues with for rent. And as, as you see over here, I have different um, units. And so I think that must have been glitching or something. Does Gemma want some food? Gemma, you have your own food over here. Also, I did add the cat hangout lot trait, and I'm not seeing any cats. Oh, I guess you can't. Can you not get to it? Of course you can't. Okay, I'm going to have to fix that. Why don't you... Oh, you did harvest it. Okay, we're going to work on that later. He is down to 114, and so we need that money for the community house. She wants to come out and hang out. You know what? Just come over. You keep calling us all the time. Whoa. Why would you do that? So rude. He wants to finish a painting and meet someone new. So that's kind of perfect. We are going to go and meet that elderly lady that I put in the game. Frank has unlocked the indoorsy lifestyle. Really? Indoorsy? Isn't that weird? Oh, another thing I wanted to do is actually fix this over here because I do not think that Frank deserves a bad reputation. He got into a fight with Gunther and I obviously initiated that and so I don't think that he's a bad guy. He needs to have this bad reputation so I'm actually going to cheat it. I feel like he had a neutral reputation but I might even go with good. Yeah, I'm gonna go with good. <laughs> I could not have another sim move in to this little community and hate Frank, I just don't think that that's fair, and so I had to do that. 